here's today's lesson. We'll be solving division problems with up to a three-digit dividend. We'll use do so numerically and also with number disks. Let's start with this problem here. We have 426 and we're dividing by 3. We'll go ahead and use a place value chart where we have hundreds, we have tens, and we have ones. We'll model the dividend. We have four hundreds, two tens, six ones. Then we're going to go ahead and divide by three. Therefore, we will have three groups. We'll start with the hundreds. We're taking those four hundreds and dividing it into and distributing it into those three groups. We still have one left over, so we'll go ahead and regroup that to the tens place. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that one hundred is worth ten tens. We have twelve tens here, and when we distribute them amongst those three groups, what we get is that we get, let's see, we'll get four of them within each of those groups. Finally, with those ones, we have six ones divided by three, so there will be two within each of those groups. So, we have the number 100, four tens, two ones, which is also written as 142. So read this whole number sentence with me. 426 divided by 3 equals 142. Let's solve 516 divided by 2 using a place value chart and long divisions side by side. So there, I've set up my long division. The first thing that we will do within our place value chart is to model what we're dividing 516. There, I have modeled the 516. Next, we know that we are dividing it into two groups. Our first step within either of those cases is that we're going to divide 500s by 2. So when we look at it within our long division, 2 goes into 5 how many whole times? Right, 2 whole times, because 2 times 2 is 4, and 5 minus 4 is 1. Within our place value chart, what that looks like is this. We take those 5 hundreds, and we distribute them into those two groups. We do have that remainder of 1, just like there was a remainder of 1 inside of our long division. We'll take that 100 and regroup it into the tens place. 100 equals what? Equals 10 tens. That's why when we bring down that 1, we have 11 tens then divided by 2. 11 tens divided by 2 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10 and 11 minus 10 is 1. So in other words, there's going to be 1 left over 10 after we divide. There's that work within the place value chart. Next, what do we have to do? Well, in our long division, we bring down the 6, and that's worth 16 ones. How do we get 16 ones here? Wait, there were only 6. Oh. Look at this leftover 10 here. So we regroup that 10 as, and rewrite it as 10 ones, and when we put those together with the six ones that we had, we had those 16 ones. When we go 16 ones divided by two, we get eight. Because eight times two is 16, and 16 minus 16 is zero. Many people will forget that last step, and to show that last step within our division problem, Within our place value chart, again, it's much the same way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens, and 2 hundreds, or the number 
258. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and work through this problem, 513 divided by 3, using a place value chart and also using long division. Pause that video while you do your work. Did you model the number first? In this case, we're dividing by 3, so there's going to be 3 groups. We'll divide the 500s by 3 first, so that we get 100 within each. And then you had to regroup those 100s over into the 10s. So that you would get 20 there, with the 1 is 21 tens, and then 21 tens divided by 3 is going to be 7 within each of those groups. So that there are none left within there. And then you can go ahead and divide those 3 ones. Within each of those groups, there's 100, 7 tens, and 1 1, or the number 171. Showing our long division, we'll start with the 500s. 500s divided by 3 is 1. 1 times the 3 is 3. 5 minus the 3 is the 2. We bring down the 1 so that we have 21 tens, and we're dividing 21 tens by 3. We get 7. So we write a 7 for our answer there, and for our quotient, we go 7 times 3, which is 21, 21 minus 21, which is 0, and we bring down the 3. Those 3 1s divided by 3 is 1, so we wipe the 1 there as part of our answer. 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. If we were to run a check with our long division, it would be our answer, 171, and we'd multiply by that divisor, 3, and then we'd be able to show our check. 3 times 7 is 21, 1 regroup a 2, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. 513 matches. So 513 divided by 3 is 171. Look over your work. Here we have 514 and we're dividing by 2. Let's use some number disks to be able to Take a look at this here to see how it is that this works. And then so we'll model that first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 10, 4 ones. There's two groups. We'll start with those 500s, dividing it by 2. How many will go into each group? Right, 200. Leaving us with 100, which we will regroup into the tens. What are we dividing by? Well, there's two groups here. When we take those 11 tens and we divide it by 2, 5 go into each of those groups. The 5 there and the 5 there. Leaving us with 1, which we will go ahead and regroup over into the 1's place. So we have one of those tens equaling 10 1's. Along with the four ones that were already there, we now have 14 ones, which finally will divide by 2. When we have 14 ones and we divide it by 2, we get 7 ones within each of those groups. Reading that right from our place value chart within each of those groups, I have 2 hundreds, 5 tens, 7 ones. Again, that was two hundreds, five tens, and seven ones, which I write as the number two, five, seven. 514 divided by two is equal to 257. The other way that we can look at these problems is with the algorithm where we will solve it numerically. It's basically saying we will use that long division. We're dividing 712, we're dividing it by 4. 
start in the hundreds place. 7 divided by 4 is what? Well, it's 1, because 1 times 4 is 4, and 7 minus 4 is 3. So there are 3 hundreds remaining. We put it together with the 110, we have 31 tens, and at that point we're dividing by 4 again. 31 divided by 4 is 7, because 7 times 4 is 28. What do I do with those two numbers? Right, I subtract them. I get what? 3. Well, it looks like there's still room in my quotient for one more number. I bring down the 2 so that I have 32 ones, and I'm dividing it by 4 still. 32 divided by 4 is what? 8, because 8 times 4 is 32, and 32 minus 32 is 0. How would I run the check for this? Right, 178 times 4. 4 times 8 is 32, 2, regroup with 3, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 3 is 31, 1, regroup with 3, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. 712 matches. So, we just follow those steps to be able to divide. Remember our division family? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, check. Our dad, mom, sister, brother, and cat.